Hey, Jalen, can you explain, um, I think you shot the gap, a, a gap on the left side on the uh, touchdown run, but as the play unfolded, I didn't see you re-enter the frame. I saw Brett, F or, uh, not Brett Farr, but Aaron Rodgers downfield blocking, and I was just wondering how and why you didn't get back in that play. Um, well, the, it was an opposite run on a, on a blitz. Um, the guy made a... I mean, I guess wherever the run was going, you know, he he shot the gap and I mean, he took out running. Like, I don't. What what is this? What is this question referring to? It's requ it's referring to your effort made on a play that sealed the game for the other team, in which there were offensive I mean, linemen. One, one thing, one one thing. Linemen. Listen, listen. One thing that you can't never question is my effort at all. You can never question my effort, regardless of whatever, whatever. You can never question Jalen Mills' effort. Next next question. Chris and then Nick Fierro. Jalen, what was the defense's reaction once Carson was benched? And uh, who do you, and quite curious to see who you feel should be the quarterback next week? Um, I actually didn't know that um, Jalen was in to probably like the second or third series that he was in, just for the simple fact we was going over a lot of adjustments and different things like that on the sideline. Um, I mean, of course, he was out there making a couple of plays. And when you're talking about who should be the starter, I think that decision is to um, Coach Doug and, and everybody um, upstairs as far as the offense coordinator and things like that. So, Nick and then Ed Kratz. Hi, Jalen. That was going to kind of be my question, but I'll just follow up with that. In that, do you think that the um, that when he did come in and you know he threw that touchdown pass on fourth down, um, that it really sparked? Uh, all three phases. It looked like the defense really responded, and then the special teams, of course, had the punt return. Yeah, you know, of course, you know, anytime um, we're giving ourselves a chance, you know, to to get back in the game or an opportunity to, you know, maybe win the game, um, it, every, everybody's going to be excited. Um, one thing I do know about this team, regardless of our record, regardless of um, any score, whether we've won or lost the game, um, we always fight to the end. Ed and then Lutz. Yeah. Uh, hi, Jalen. Uh, just what did you see from Darius Slay uh, tonight? Um, you know, it looked like maybe the calf was bothering him a little bit. I mean, how, how do you think he did, did tonight? Yeah. Um, I mean, when, when you're talking about Slay, you're talking about, about a guy who, you know, comes in work every day. And, and as far as this game goes, you know, um, he made some plays. And um, when you're going against a guy like Devontae Adams, that guy is – top three, maybe top five receiver in his league. You know what I'm saying? That's not an easy task. Um, Slay, you know, he wears that hat, you know, um, with, with pride and respectfully, and, and we know that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, I don't know I don't know the injury. I didn't I didn't know what it was. Um, I hope it's nothing serious. Just uh, hope he can get 100% healthy for next week. Less than then Chris Murray. Hey, Jalen. How disappointing was it that when uh, – Hertz and Rieger got you guys within seven. You couldn't keep the, the, the score there for the offense. And uh, it just looked like, you know, in a lot of ways, the worst game for the defense in a while. Uh, after a couple of good stops early, things kind of seemed to snowball. What did you see? Yeah, it's uh, definitely definitely a little frustrating um, because we get to that point to where, like you said, we're, we're right there. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, it's hard to win here. You know, it's hard to win, you know, against that guy, Aaron Rodgers. Um, we just got to find a way to make, you know, uh, one more play. One more play, you know, to try to get our offense on the field, you know, one more time um, in, that, in that close score range and uh, get them an opportunity to, to tie the game up. We have time for one more, so we'll end it here on Chris. Yeah, um, how do you guard against the idea that maybe the season is kind of getting away from you, or do you feel – that the season is getting away from you, and, and if and if that's the, and if not the case, how are you guys guarding against that? Yeah, nah. Uh, at, at the end of the day, as crazy as it sounds, um, we're we're still in a fight. You know, um, we we want to win games, of course. You know, that's what you know uh, playing football is all about. That's what this league is all about, winning football games. Um, but like I said, as crazy as it sounds, we're still in it. Um, kind of the message. 24-hour uh, rule. You know, we can't feel sorry for ourselves about this game, saying oh, almost, oh, we almost did this, we almost did that, one play here, one play that. Um, when we close our eyes and we wake up in the morning, uh, we got to focus on the Saints because this is a team um, 
good on both, you know, offense, defense, and special teams. And they're going to come in uh, Philadelphia, and they're going to come in and try to win. Um, so we got to know that. Can't feel sorry for ourselves. We just got to get back to work. Jalen, can you kind of just, like, talk us through um, you getting in there? Did you know at the time that you would be in for the rest of the game? And, and what was the reaction like? Um, you know, just, just going throughout the game, like like every game, I was just trying to stay attentive with, to what's go, what was going on, um, staying alert for all the different adjustments we were making throughout the game. And um, my, my number was called, and it was an opportunity to go in there. Obviously, we came up short, but um, we got a great opportunity this week moving forward. So um, we're going to be working really hard to, to, to twist this thing around. Plus, and then Jeff McLean. Jalen, do you think you should be the starter against the Saints? And do you think you will be? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do what I can do for this team. I, I think that's a, as simple as that. Um, working hard every day, putting my best foot forward, um, and, 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 and taking somebody with me. I'm trying to lead and um, just, just get this thing in the right direction. So anything, anything that can help this team. Did you think you should have gotten a chance before today? Anything that could help this team. Jeff and Chris Franklin. Uh, Jalen, obviously coming in uh, as a second round pick when there's a franchise quarterback here can be can create a, uh, an awkward dynamic and obviously not being at the facility all the time and having all the COVID restrictions have made it difficult. Um, what's Carson's, how, how has Carson's treated you since you've been drafted? I think, I think it's been good. Um, I've learned a lot of things from him. I'm sitting back and watching, you know, I think, <laughs> I think the, the, the bigger, the, we, we lost this game today, you know, I think that irks everybody here. Um, every competitive, we, we all have competitive spirits. Um, and moving forward, <clears throat> we got a 24 hour rule, you know, to, to sit here and digest this, everything that's happened today here in Green Bay. And, and after that, we, we move forward, we move forward. How that looks, you know, that's, that's a question for coach. Chris and Tim McManus. You, know, you came in cold off the sideline. Uh, how would you assess your play today going against that Packers defense? Not enough. Um, not enough. Um, not enough. We lost the game. Tim and Ed Kratz. Jalen, can you uh, take us through your, your first career touchdown pass? So, what did you see, and you know, and, and how was that feeling for you? Um, I mean, it's um, it was great. You know, on the bright side of things, I'm not going to be Debbie Downer um, right now, but uh, it was a blessing. So it's a great feeling. Um, it's a great feeling. <laughs> Get a get a get a throw a touchdown pass to one of my good friends, Greg Ward, my first one. So um, that was fun. It was fun. Ed Kratz and Nick Fierro. Hey Jalen, it's it's been a while since you've been able to kind of get a rhythm in a game. Uh, how did it feel to develop that rhythm? Uh, you know, playing several snaps. How beneficial was that for you? Um, any experience and any opportunity to touch the field. Um, it only kind of raises the value of that player. Um, and it's kind of been that way all year. And, um, you know, today coach gave me that opportunity. You know, with all my heart, had every intention on coming in and, and getting it done and winning the game, but we came up short. And um, that, that, that only lights a fire in everybody, you know, and everybody moving forward, whether how it looks, however it looks, the, the objective in this game is to win. So, um, just got to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing and believe. Nick, Dave Zangaro. Uh, hey, Jalen, um, when you did get in there and then you threw the touchdown, uh, it seemed to spark like all three phases. You know, the defense did really well with the stop and then you get the punt return. Uh, how much do you take note of that? And does that kind of give you a boost? Well, I think uh, you create your own energy. And... Um, you know, as great as it was, um, as great as the spark that was, the things, the, you know, that energy we had um, moving forward, it's about what we do moving, for, moving forward. You know, I've, I've always kind of had this 
the saying I've gone by is so what, now what? Um, regardless of whatever it is, how it looks, it's about how you respond. So um, I'm telling you, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be working our tail off. Um, and, you know, we're, we're going to find a way. We're going to find a way. Everybody has it on their mind to get this thing done. And um, it comes down to, to, to your, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. It comes down to, to how bad you want it. We have time for one more, so we'll end it here with Dave Zangaro. Hey, Jalen, you, you arrived to Philadelphia to a team with an established quarterback. How did you handle that personally, approaching a situation that from the outside looks like it could have been very awkward? Yeah. God, God, has, God has done so, much, so many things throughout my life. Um, he's brought me so many places. And he's put me in so many situations. Um, and, you know, I, I always told myself it's not something that you're stuck in. It's something you're going through. And, and, and whether it be the different adversities I experienced in college um, or coming here to Philadelphia, it's, it's a test of, of faith and, and patience. Um, and I think everybody has a, a good fit for my story, but none of, in my heart, none of that matters right now. You know, we, we, we still have an opportunity to do something we want to do as a team. And um, uh, we just got to come together, believe, and go attack it, attack it, full head of steam.